Walk, I haven't seen you in a hot minute. Where have you been? Where have you been? Where have you been? Working late at the office again, I see. You smell like her. You smell of her perfume. I know you've been with her. <sighs> How could you do this to me? To 20 years? Three kids? College? Babies? Oh wait, that's out of order. Babies? College? Whatever. Okay, Guac, I get it. I'm sorry, it was only for a minute. Don't f it tell me that! I promise that I won't do it again. You have a better voice than her, please. I'm sorry. Peace, cry, peace, cry, peace, love. You think that you can just walk back into my f***ing life and tell me that you're sorry? Sorry doesn't cover all the times that I was home taking care of the baby, breastfeeding, preschool, parent-teacher meetings. Sorry doesn't cover that. Sorry doesn't cover drinking beer all the time on the couch, forgetting that Timmy Jr. had soccer practice. Sorry doesn't cover that. Or the time I wanted to go back to school, and I wanted to become something. And you told me that I had to stay home and watch Miranda Jr. Well, guess what? Quack, it ain't about to be like that no more. <laughs> What can I do to make it up to you, Peter? There's Pie. nothing you can do. Okay, there is something you can do. You can pay for, um, <clears throat> you made $500,000 for a boob job and a facelift and a bunch of other things, okay? That's what you can do. For, do it for Timmy! For Timmy Jr. It's a really good boob job, okay? It's worth the money. It's with, it's with Dr. Abdul. Dr. Simon, <laughs> Simon Ruben Ab Paul Abdul. <laughs> It's gonna make me pretty for you, okay? <laughs> Hashtag boob job for Timmy. <laughs> you wanna come back into my house that I raised our children in? And you wanna tell me that you're sorry? And that it was just dinner and that it didn't mean anything? Well, guess fucking what, Guac? I fucked Ted! <laughs> God damn, what even is my stream at this point? At least Ted treated me right. When little Timmy had the measles, Ted was there for me, Guac. When little Timmy had the coronavirus, Ted was <laughs> I'll never stop, because I'll never get over it. You wounded me more than you can ever know. Just give me some time to make it up to you. No, no. That's what you said the first time. Remember Sandy? Oh yeah, you love Sandy. Oh, it's nothing. She's just my secretary. Yeah, sure. And then I get fucking home, and there's a there's a pair of panties on my floor that don't belong to me. Oh, you must have gotten your laundry mixed up at the laundromat. Quick, I don't go to a laundromat. You make six hundred thousand dollars a year. You think we use a laundromat? And I just sit at home, drinking. Wishing that I had gone to college. Wishing that I had not settled and married you for your money. I drink, and I drink, and I drink until the bottle's empty, and I'm staring down at this empty bottle, and I'm crying for Timmy, and I'm crying for Sandy. I mean, uh, Miranda Jr. <laughs> you know, it was never about me. It was always about you and your life. I mean, <laughs> it pains me to say this, Glock. <laughs> but I have to. I have to leave. Cause if I don't live my life, then I never will, Guac. I never will. What you guys think that my pain is funny? That Guac cheating on me with secretary after secretary? Well, what, what was it first? Sandy? And then it was Sharon, and then it was Karen, and then it was Bar Baron, and then it was Heron. <laughs> then it was Perrin. Then it was Parrot. You think you can just Thank you kindly. swoop right in here and win me over with some f***ing gift subs? Well, guess what, mother Christmas, 1982. I opened the gift that was under your bed, thinking that it was for me. But no, it was for your secretary, Sandy. And it was five gift subs. This is some secondhand Sandy bullshit, okay, Guac? We are not even. And I'm leaving you for Ted, and we are moving to Spain so I can live my life. Court is in session, everyone. Can I be my own witness? We are gathered here today to because I'm taking all of Guac's assets. What you gonna do? I've seen the school mod that you do, so you can get get through your day at work. Oh yeah, get through your day at work. Bullshit, Guac. You're an addict, and I'm taking control. I'm taking custody of the kids. I can change for you. No, you can't. You said that the first time. 1995, Little Timmy's birthday. Guess who was doing scuba in the bathroom? Well, I was baking the cake. Who was doing it? You were doing it. And you pretend like you aren't a scuba addict. This time I'll change for real this time, please. 
No, I don't trust it anymore. We are done being abused by you and your skooma addiction. I'm gonna become the journalist I was meant to become. What do you answer to the allegations, Walk, Please know I can live without you. You can live without me. You're just afraid of yourself. Thank you for all your wisdom. Stay strong, Guac. Stick to the path of righteousness, and you shall not be led astray. This whole RP session had better be made into a video. <laughs> Honestly, it wouldn't be that bad. It wouldn't be that bad of a video.